Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to ClickSense. And this is the second video of probably four videos I'm gonna do. And this one I'm just gonna teach you how to navigate and create a bunch of different charts within ClickSense, show you some pointers. In the next video, I'll put together in what we call they call an application. And then the next one, in the final one, I'll probably create a story. And there's still enough demand. I'll go in and create some more advanced charts, some other tools, techniques, uh, advanced views, like I do any other software. So whether there's the right demand, I'll ha more than happy to um, to accommodate and make some videos covering those topics. So let's just go over and create some charts. So you'll see here you create kind of like a dashboard area already. Um, in this case, when if you if your video if your screen is like this, then all you need to do is click on edit. And the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bar chart. And then you see here, it's pretty simple. It asks you to add a dimension. Uh, so you'll see a number of different options here. In this case, I'm going to use uh, merchant name. And then I'm going to add a measure of, in this case, I only really have two measure, two real measures. And then have I obviously do counts of other stuff. But in this case, I'm going to do uh, transaction amount. And then here you have different options. You do sum, count, uh, average, min, max. In this case, I'm gonna I want to know what the average amount is per per these different um, vendors. So you see the highest average is this Glen Grove Suites, and this is Toronto P card data. You'll see some here. You can do some initial formatting uh, options to do different formatting. So if I want to sort on merchant name, I can do it that way. If I want to sort on amount, which is probably what I want to do, uh, I can do that here. And here I can also as well do some uh, other types of sorting. So I can do a sort ascending if I wanted to, uh, which is probably it is interesting to view as well. And then as well, you can add some uh, reference lines if you wanted to. In this case, let's say at 150. Uh, you probably can't see the. You can kind of, uh, if I made it a little bit bigger value, you'd probably be able to see it. So you can see here, uh, reference lines there are useful. Maybe a good indication of where you want to look and give you a good um, benchmark. As well, you can change it. So you can call it average uh, spend by merchant. And as well, you can add um, US or whatever, CAD, uh, add some footnotes. Uh, this is 2011 to 2013 Toronto P-Card data. And then you'll see here, ma makes it super simple. Um, yeah, it makes it super simple. You'll see this little navigation screen. There's actually a, quite, a quite a few merchants, which is what, you, is what you would expect. And as well, you can make it horizontal. Uh, as one view, you can change grid lines as you see fit, uh, add labels as you see fit. Uh, the colors, the legends. Um, one thing I like to do here is you can do single color or you can do it by the measure. And I think the measure is actually pretty pretty interesting. Uh, I wish there was a few more options here. You can obviously edit the range as you see fit. Um, I think the the color gradient is, uh, is pretty, pretty interesting. You can change the y-axis, change the labels, change the positioning. Uh, lots of uh, different options available. So I'm going to leave that as is. And as well, you can um, click on here, shrink, expand it. In this case, I'm actually probably make it a little bit. Um, yeah, you can see a bunch of different options are available. Um, I'm going to add, let's add a pie chart. In this case, I'm going to do a pie chart based off of the original currency. And this gives us a, a proxy on, on how much we spend in each currency. So in this case, I'm going to do sum. And you can see most of it is Canadian. A few of it is uh, USD. Uh, and then you'll see some other ones that are available as well. You can, do the, you can see the different number formatting uh, where applicable. You see it automatically did a percentage. Uh, you can sort it where applicable. 
you can use some general presentations. So we're going to call this uh, spend by currency. You can easily make it into a donut chart if you wanted to. So that's actually uh, pretty interesting. There's some softwares out there that, that really, I guess, uh, make all the assumptions for you. Uh, while in Click ClickSense, they allow you to make some of the customizations as you see fit different colors, color legends. Uh, I'm gonna show off the legend so you can see all the different values here. And maybe make this table. Yeah, you can see all the different options that are, are available within your options. Uh, as well, you can add things like scatter plots. Um, in this case, I'm going to Let's add, um, in this case, let's actually create a new dimension. So here I'm gonna create, I'm gonna use this function to create a new, new field. So here I'm gonna call it month, and then I'm gonna get the, use the field transaction date, and insert it here, and then as well, And then I'm gonna call yep apply, and I'm gonna call this transaction month. Add that to a dimension. So now I have that option available to me. So for example, if I were to do um, a line chart here, and were to add a dimension here, and then add the measure, I can see it. How much? How are we spending uh, by? transaction month. So you see lots of different options here as well. I could drop a few more other variables if I wanted to. I could drop division, division here, add, add division. Obviously it looks a little bit messy, so it may not be the best option, uh, but you can see some uh, pretty simple options are available. Actually, one thing I can do here is I can create another field, Sim pretty similar. Uh, and I'm going to use transaction date. And I'm going to call this transaction year. Add that. Now I have a new dimension here. And then I'm going to go here and simply just going to drop it here. Add transaction year. So now I can kind of see the different transaction years. I should probably. change the color legend. I'm going to add the legend here just so we can easily see all the different values. You can see here 2010 was kind of a, a weird year. You can change the presentation presentation to an area chart if you want to as well, which is pretty nice. You can make it a stacked area chart, which is which makes it easier to see all the different years but makes them harder to compare. Um, really depends on on uh, how you want to here we can show the different data points. All the different 12 months which are useful especially if you have things like month as opposed to continuous days so that's uh, one option there and then last thing we're going to do is we're going to add this filter panel which I actually really like a lot there's a couple ways you can do it so you can, you can go here uh, maybe the easier way is actually to go to the list of fields and just drop it uh, in this case i'm just going to go here click on add dimension in this case i'm going to make it um uh, let's go GL description as these different options available here. And you can add a few other ones if you wanted to as well. So we can drop division here. Perfect. So now, now we have our, our dashboards and our different charts here. And I'm just going to add some, you can also change the title here so I can go spend over time. And then as well, I just want to change some of the quick appearances. Uh, yeah, you can see all the different items, the scales. You can make them wide. You can make them narrow, depending on 
uh, how many different data points. You can also make it logarithmic if you wanted to. Um, in this case, it's probably not that useful. Um, if you're showing growth, it might be useful to show uh, as a logarithmic. In this case, we're going to leave it as is. You can add, obviously add some footnotes, do some other uh, add-ons, add reference lines. Actually, maybe we'll add a reference line to this one. So let's add a reference line. In this case, I want the average of the... So you can see here, in some cases, it's, uh, it's still pretty easy to use. Um, actually, I didn't like my expression. There you go. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I have to do this myself. Let's go average. Insert there. I was trying to do it myself, but in this case, uh, makes it a little bit hard. And then as well, you can add the label there. You can see the average of the Let's do this. Okay, did not like that. Uh, that's fine. So here it's just showing the average transaction amount of, of 185, uh, which is fine. Um, you can see all the different options that are available. So I'm actually going to delete that. Um, but in the next video, I'm going to show you how it looks like in the dashboard or in the in the application, and then we'll go from there. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.